yeah, let's take the dogs for a ride day. Anyway, now get your ass in the back seat. Oh. All right, guys, this is Maddie and Roxy. Roxy's my old one. She's got diabetes. Gets a shot in the morning, shot in the afternoon. She lost about 20 pounds. And trying to get her weight back on her. She's 11 years old. The other one over there, that's Maddie. She's my pit bull boxer mix. She's three and a half. And I adopted her from the SPCA in July 2019. And she was 10 weeks old. Her name was Norma. By the time we got out in the parking lot, it was changed to Maddie. I won't have a dog named Norma. But anyway, She's the one you gotta watch out for over there, with Maddie. Roxy will help you rob the house. Maddie won't let you in the damn yard. All right, guys. So this is the website you wanna go to. That's fieldtechhelp.com, right there. Fieldtechhelp.com. Enter that. And you're gonna come to this website. You got American Standard on the right, Train on the left. Yeah, I've got a little home office. I'm having a little uh, beverage here and uh, <laughs> watching some fake news up there. Anyway, so we're going to click train here and then you're going to come here. So down here at the bottom, you've got two columns. If you're looking for your role based training or product training over here there's different things there you've got online courses that you can sign up for for outdoor products furnace coils customer service you just have to sign up log in get a username and password and some of the online courses they do charge for that but a lot of these training videos are going to be under this column here as you see there you've got variable speed you got your outdoor products got your furnace and coils air handlers controls and link technology notice I have not entered a username or password yet um, I do not have an account but a lot of the videos that will help you are really right under this column we're going to click on your variable speed first and you see all these videos pop up that cover different things from the train link smart charge, the new train link system, uh, link heat pump heating configurations, cooling configurations, your link control wiring, how it wires up now, uh, your link control wire troubleshooting, your link compressor configuration, capacity distribution, ice banding, and all I have to do is hit play and these videos will start defrost troubleshooting demand defrost variable speed side discharge the drive replacement in that um, software upgrade videos which you saw the video I posted about software upgrade yesterday um, variable speed running the drive test replacing the drive um, variable speed CDA control menus the configuration menu CDA alert menu variable speed monitor menu variable speed communicating display assembly overview integrated variable speed control so there's a lot of videos and you just click on what you're interested in outdoor products your furnace coils air handlers the TAM 9 air handler is not in here yet um, that's going to be under the link training which is over here it's one of the things you online courses that you'll pay for but we'll go to air handlers there's a lot of videos on the train air handlers the TEM and the A4AH coils replacement instructions uh, econ economizer replacement the BAY heaters for the TAM air handler the heaters for the TIM air handler uh, temperature sensor troubleshooting five tap motor troubleshooting uh, filter performance versus flow performance 
your ductless low charge alarm, ductless modes, uh, ductless H1 compressor, dome temperature sensor cutout. So there's a variety of different run true overview. Um, a variety of videos that you can get on here. So here's one right here troubleshooting the variable speed serial port motors that you're going to find in the TAM air handlers and in the furnaces. So on any of these videos, you find something, the TAM blower communications video, the TAM heat control board, the 16 pin motors. Let's click on the serial port motors. This is one I keep downloading in my phone. All you do is click play. That video will come up. Click play. simply watch the video if you want to expand it you can expand it the four wire serial port motor uses a digital communication between the air handler airflow control board or furnace ifc to tell the motor what speed and what cfm we need to deliver when we get into the diagnostics of the motor the motor must always have 120 volts on a furnace or 240 volts on an air handler the next step in diagnostics is to apply 24 volts to the back of the motor. So the very back two pins of the motor is going to be common and red for 24 volts hot. And when the motor has power and receives that 24 volt input, it's going to run at about 75% capacity. The motor does communicate with the control board. But you can see right now the furnace isn't idle. But as soon as I disconnect my communication from the motor so and the board... So we're not going to watch the whole get video. 17 for an alert. But... For you guys that are, you know, you're not familiar with the train equipment and you don't see it very often and you like to, you know, comment to people that the train is junk, you know, do a little research, do a little self training, go to this website, fieldtechhelp.com, and you'll find all the videos you need, controls right here so this goes over the different thermostats the 930 wireless sensor how to pair it to an 824 850 or 1050 control um the xl 850 xl 24 control user setup so it shows the nexia diagnostics just play so you don't have to pay for any of these videos um, installer setups platinum and gold install wizard so, I mean, Train offers information out there. Um, if you want to go down here to Link Technology, a lot of these you'll have to sign up and get your account set up. And then you've got like 25 minute video, one hour video, another one hour video, 47 minute video. You know, watch one video every couple of days or something like that. But this one's the Train Link Discussion Guide, the Tamex Air Handler Overview. That's a one hour video showing you about the Tamex air handler. Um, link technician application, link system commissioning and reports. Um, link system, now I took this class at the train location a few weeks ago. It was an eight hour class and they covered a lot of this, but this is just a place you can go back and refresh yourself. Train link, link smart charge, that one you can play some of these you can play and watch some of them obviously you have to enroll like right there but the link cooling configuration the link heat pump configurations um, link sales link capacity distribution general configuration so there's a few of the videos you have to the s8 v2c furnace which right now is the only furnace they offer that's compatible with train link um, it's a two-stage furnace I'm sure there will be more brought online, but this is just a place that you can come get some information and kind of open your mind up a little bit. I'm not telling you you got to sell train or be all train, but if you're not seeing it a lot and you just want to have a little bit of resource to be familiar with it, there's a free website, fieldtechhelp.com, and then you can go on here and scroll through and pick up they got podcasts that they do um like i said furnace air handlers coils controls link technology variable speed so i mean there's a there's a place you can go and that's the purpose of me putting this video up there if you still have your opinion have your opinion 
but if you want to get some information on this equipment and at least have a resource that you can have at your fingertips that if you run across it you can do a little research real quick fieldtechhelp.com is a good place to go for that so anyway guys i'm going to finish this corona and i need to get out and do some yard work thanks for watching bottom right hand corner should be down over here somewhere maybe i don't know like subscribe um comments and uh you make use of this resource uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about train products it's it's available to you maybe you already know it maybe i'm wasting 20 minutes of your time today but um it's a good place to turn and i still refer to it from time to time um, these videos you can pull them up on a tablet you can pull them up on your phone if you pull them up on your phone you can actually download them i have one page of my phone that i have probably about seven eight videos um the 16 pin blower troubleshooting the five pin and the serial port or two of them diagnostic leds just because sometimes the manuals aren't always there but anyway guys fieldtechhelp.com from train they offer it look into it enjoy your weekend like subscribe appreciate the ones that have and uh have a good weekend